So I don't know, but tonight might be the last sunset I have down here. That said, I knew I wanted to catch, capture it. Back to my tent. Another glorious sunrise and I'm probably gonna stay down here one more day I have a liter and a half left of water A beautiful sunset. So this evening, while I was sitting there getting one more damn coconut, I lost my ball out of my pocket. Nice little white piece on all this white coral. Can't find it at goddamn where. Totally not thrilled. I don't even have papers. I don't have a screen. I have absolutely nothing. Luckily for me, though, I know how to MacGyver some shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> my coconut, which I had gone ahead and uh, popped two holes out of so that way I can drink it. was not even trying to eat it. All I wanted to do is all I wanted was the water out of it. I went ahead and then um, carved out a bowl and used my, um, used my, one of my stakes, uh, one of my tent stakes to, uh, poke a hole and so now I've got myself a big ass fucking pipe well I've went and packed it um, let's see how all this works <laughs> holy shit <coughs> oh. 
<coughs> this is way fucking holy shit this is way better than a piece of shit pipe i had so there i am sitting all fucking aggro i was out there flash shining a goddamn flashlight looking for that motherfucker not caring if people across the damn across the base could see me or not i'm like i gotta medicate i gotta medicate when i'm in pain everything goes out the window what i care about that nothing matters other than stopping the damn pain. And I am so, so happy right now that I am fucking able to medicate. I, I, you could, if you don't have chronic, if you don't have a chronic pain disease, you'll never know. For those of you out there who know, you know. Uh, the, the cannabis pills, they just, they'll suck the water right out of my mouth. Um, they'll dehydrate me in, like in a heartbeat. And with as low water, as low as I am on water right now, the, um, I, I can't, I just, I can't do them. I just can't do them. So, I got my coconut, I got my coconut bowl. This is so fucking cool. I am at Manuka. So this is where I stayed at again. I'm not crazy about this spot because I can hear tons of people all nearby. Cars open, car doors opening and closing, and car horns and bathroom doors all slamming and shit all night long. Always worried somebody may come up. So, anyways, I got like 20 minutes. To get out to the road and catch this bus but I was covered I'm gonna go check out a new spot and if it works great if it don't work then I just gotta catch a bus by five to go back to the um, captain see all these rocks these are like marbles I'm trying to walk on them and walking on it at night it's the same color as the ground, um, or darker, and so you can't see it in the pitch black. But man, look at that view. Oh, this is so fucking awesome. It's a really, really hard climb down. It's even harder climb back up. Um, but shit, it takes me a day to fucking recover whenever I come down here to be able to come back up. If I try to come up tomorrow, I'll be in such pain and be miserable and cranky and fucks will be flying out my mouth left and right. And yeah, so uh, I quickly learned that whenever I come down here, I got to I got to expect to stay at least in another night, if not longer. And now I have enough water to last me, hopefully, um, till the 11th. Um, gonna spend my birthday down here uh, no cake got a little tiny bit of liquor um, that I'll probably drink up tonight so I probably won't be getting buzzed on my birthday other than smoking some good ganja eh, that's all I need though that and this amazing view um, I am really lucky though I really like this spot it's beautiful it provides me with everything that I need um, safety wise and uh, I can battle out the elements easily here can battle out the, the bugs no problem uh, so, so I'm not able to like explore the island like I really wanted to uh, it's all good cuz I got this I got this little piece of paradise and shit after seven o'clock at night it's usually all completely mine so I really can't complain not a bit so I don't have service when I'm in my tent because of where I have my tent usually put at or my hammock whatever um, can go to spots and get service easily you know just like walk two three minutes away so this 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 spot provides me with everything I need
I'm back to my spot. Here comes the sun. Another awesome sunset getting ready to happen tonight. And I got another rainbow coming right through. It's pretty freaking awesome. Wow. Wow, well, I cleaned up my site. You can see by the see by the dry spot it rained again last night. Of course it rained last night. It rains every night. Ugh. All right. And this is an amazing sunrise. I, I'm getting ready to walk to. This is so freaking beautiful here. I don't know if I'll be here again tonight or not. Probably here. Because it looks like it's going to rain. Pfft. Like hardcore for a few hours. Um, each day until I leave. So I'll probably just end up coming back down here. I'll probably end up just like staying here until it's time for me to go. Kind of sucks but I don't know the other parks well enough. And the distances to walk to them. To go find out. And the bus only runs like it's like twice a day. Yeah, just makes it really difficult to uh, try to go explore. Last thing I want to do is get someplace, find no place to be able to pitch my tent, and it be raining, and then I'm stuck dealing with it all night long. That's not my idea of fun. So I don't know. I gotta go do laundry. I gotta charge up my electronics, and I want to go eat somewhere. So I'm looking for more like I want to go to Kona, but uh, I might just uh, stick around up here near Captain Cook. Yeah, I'll never get tired of this. So I'm at Old A Airport Park and I'm hunting for a place to hopefully bed down tonight. If I can find a place to pitch my tent where I'll be hidden, then I'm gonna chance it. Otherwise, I'm going back to freaking Captain Cook Memorial. Cause at least there I know I can pitch my tent when it's gonna rain and I won't have anybody screw with me. So, see what happens. Come smoke with me. I'll show you magic. I got another rainbow coming right through. It's pretty freaking awesome. I'll never get tired of this. And now, much love, much peace, guys.
this is a fruit bat or a baby bat. I mean, look, you can see, you can see his ears at the bottom. Wow, that's pretty amazing, even if he is in your house, Carol. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's so cute. Or she. Oh, damn. Penelope. Leave the poor thing alone. Oh. Oh, sweetheart. Go find a tree. Wow. I need to get bat boxes again. And that's today's magic. <laughs>